Take 28. My name is William Radford, and I'm a contemporary photographer from Spain. I'd really like to take this opportunity to talk about some of my most recent work and its progression, especially in terms of writing myself in the future and the artistic environment in which I place my practice. Ever since I started seriously entertaining the idea of pursuing photography as a career, it became very evident to me that, as much as I thoroughly enjoy the frantic excitement and fast pace of hit firing street photography, especially the candid aspect, I also find a great deal of comfort in the methodical constructed approach, which is what I'll be talking about today. This is in terms of colour flash chills and light painting, for example, two very slow, peaceful processes which involve long exposure in order to fill in areas of your composition with light or colour and it always provides a really nice refuge from the chaotic uncertainty of shooting from the hip. What started off as a hobby over four years ago now, just capturing little trinkets from around the house and my mum's jewellery, soon turned into a really powerful tool for expressing a wide variety of concepts. Now the technique is mainly used for conceptual content such as my foreign landscapes, or objectification, a series which explores the concepts of gender and identity through visual and linguistic cues. So once I began to play with semiotic values and how the viewer reads into the final image, things just started to fall into place. I started to realise that certain objects serve as very strong visual signifiers for a broader concept. Much like the tree carries a higher significance of nature, fertility and growth, a condom conveys the idea of sex and eroticism. Similarly, I think colour has an incredible capacity for expression and holds a multitude of complex relationships with the objects they envelop if anything, carrying a stronger emotional tie to larger concepts than a tree does to nature. And as a photographer, I've always been drawn to these underlying meanings and symbology. I feel like this is best reflected in some of my most recent work, which attempts to tease out and question some of these meanings. In response to growing up in Spain, and subsequently having to address inanimate objects as male or female, Objectification uses symbology and semiology to question the validity of gendered objects in Romance languages. By combining two objects which naturally insert into each other, with a condom placed between them, I hope to insinuate the items are involved in coitus, forcing the roles of male and female onto the two subjects solely based on which is inserted into the other, when linguistically, the genders may not correlate. Also, I associate red with carnal and sensual contexts, being the colour of love, blood, danger and passion, hence its appearance in the series, to further convey this notion of intercourse. Loosely inspired by the likes of Benoit Pailleur and Mama Akabe, two contemporary photographers also working with vivid colours and sensitive scenarios, I'm particularly drawn to the manner in which they incorporate these surreal tones in situ, not only adding another layer of interest to the final image, but forcing saturation into these deeply delicate moments. On a much more poetic level, the work of Chema Maddles has always resonated with me. There's a cleanness and simplicity in his minimal compositions, yet it makes them so readable. It's a way of thinking, in shapes, in patterns, in layers, in textures, in colours, or lack thereof in this case, which I believe drives the artists such as myself to explore these visual relationships through an artistic medium. Since my first exhibition in 2016, I've had a very strong desire to create work exactly for this purpose. Continuing this thread through university, I've gained an in-depth understanding of the gallery environment and its inner workings, from a work placement co-curating a Jean Moore exhibition in our very own Hardwick Gallery, to conducting my own show at the Wilshire Gallery in Cheltenham 2019. Throughout my time at the University of Gloucester, I've been presented with many opportunities to further my practice, including the chance to collaborate with out-of-education teams in order to produce work in response to their creative writings which resulted in a published photo book as part of the Beyond Words programme, another potential outlet for my career.
Moving forward, I'd like to use all of this to further my career. The first couple of years after graduation will involve approaching galleries and online platforms, most likely applying for fitting residencies whenever available. My objective is to focus on expanding my audience through any means possible, hopefully defining myself as a photographer, whilst undoubtedly refining my style throughout the process. I intend to employ all of the following in an attempt to thrust my career into motion. This will involve applying for multiple photographic contests, applying for open calls, soliciting galleries for potential exhibits, extending and refining my online presence, creating promotional content such as business cards, and registering for artist residency programs. The objective is to reach out to as many people as possible in as little time possible, placing an emphasis on my desire to participate in a curatorial aspect. I'm also trying to establish a brand name of sorts and boost my online presence, claiming Joseph Radford on multiple platforms, such as Instagram, Gmail, for my domain name, Facebook, LinkedIn, and even Pinterest. This would aid any searches featuring my name. Due to the nature of my career aspirations, I cannot directly apply to be an exhibiting fine art photographer. Therefore, funding contests, open calls and residencies are very well suited. In regards to funding, a foundation looking for emerging artists may be my best option. Burn Magazine, for example, has made a reoccurring appearance throughout my research, promising a fruitful experience for emerging photographers under 25, with an exciting $10,000 at stake. As stated on their website, the Emerging Photographer Fund is designed to support a continuation of a photographer's personal project or emerging career. This body of work may be either journalistic mission or purely personal artistic imperatives. Projects submitted may be ongoing or finished. We are looking to discover new work and new talent. As for the residency, I intend to find something with a slightly more alternative reputation. An organisation dedicated to stimulating artistic curiosity practicing and pushing the boundaries of photography as a medium and as a form of expression, a sanctuary for exploring the limitations of acceptance, and a place for me to materialise ideas. Some of these include a lengthy six months at Reiko Photo Centre, or seven weeks in Cuba at Unpack Studios. So I leave you with this. In the words of Don McCullen, photography for me is not looking, it's feeling. If you can't feel what you're looking at, then you're never going to get others to feel anything when they look at your work. To which I respond, it's both. As a photographer, I'm looking for a feeling, which is what I try and convey in my work. Thank you.